we have calculated a valuation for primary gold of 42 cents per share. We determine this valuation by completing a detailed cash flow analysis on the company's near-term producing Coolgardie Gold project, as well as the larger Mount Bundy Gold project. Our PDF version of our valuation and financial forecasts is available at the Sophisticated Investor website. The key factors and assumptions that we examine in further detail include the recent acquisition of the Coolgardie project and its effect on our valuation, mine life, gold price, as well as our capital and operating cost assumptions. Primary recently acquired the Coolgardie Gold project, which was a smart acquisition for a number of reasons. Firstly, Given the historical mine development, as well as the opportunity for toll treatment, Coolgardie is a low capital cost entry point for primary to enter the ranks of gold production, as we have estimated that initial capital costs will be between five to $10 million. But potentially more importantly, primary will be able to take advantage of the near record high gold price in the short term, as we have estimated gold production will commence by mid 2017. This is important as the cash flow generated by Coolgardie will then be used towards the development of the Mount Bundy project. We have forecasted that prior to construction at Mount Bundy, Primary's cash position will grow to more than $40 million. This increased cash position reduces our forecasted capital raising requirement from $60 million to only $20 million, with the remainder of the project's development being financed through debt. We assume that the future capital raising price will be 20 cents per share, which is highly conservative given primary would have been a gold producer for nearly two years at this stage. However, at this price, only 100 million shares are issued for the capital raising compared to 300 million shares that would have been issued without the cash flow generated from the Coolgardie project. Therefore, the acquisition of Coolgardie not only increases the NAV for primary, but also increases our valuation per share through reduced future dilution. Our base case valuation assumes that 148,000 ounces of gold is mined at the Coolgardie project, which equates to around 75% of the current resource. Whilst we assume ore is mined from only the Rustler's Roost and Tom's Gully deposits at the Mount Bundy project, this assumption takes into account most of the current resource for each deposit. However, we believe there is still significant upside potential in the mine life, given we have not accounted for the Quest 29 deposit, nor do we take into account the significant brownfield or greenfield exploration potential that has largely been underexplored for much of the past 20 years. To illustrate the potential uplift in our valuation, if exploration is successful, and the mine lives at each project are extended, we ran a number of scenarios. However, these scenarios only consider extending the mine life and do not account for a potential change in head grade nor throughput at each operation. But it is likely that if exploration was successful, particularly at Mount Bundy, both of these factors could increase our valuation further. The Australian dollar gold price has performed strongly during 2016 as the price has strengthened from less than $1,500 per ounce to reach a high of more than $1,800 per ounce during the year. Our valuation has assumed a flat gold price over the life of each asset of $1,750 per ounce. But as with all commodities, the gold price will likely continue to fluctuate in the future. We therefore examined a range of different gold price scenarios to examine the effect on our valuation, which we note that for every $100 per ounce movement in the gold price, our valuation changes by around six cents per share. Given the stage of development for both the Coolgardie and Mount Bundy projects, there is still a degree of uncertainty regarding a number of our key assumptions. We therefore completed a sensitivity analysis to highlight the potential effect on our valuation. And in all scenarios, there is still a significant premium compared to primary's current share price.